I'm Luke Timmerman, the founder and editor of Timmerman Report, here at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference in New York. And with me today is Dave Thomas. He's the Senior Director of Industry Analysis at Bio. Thanks for being here, Dave. Thank you, Luke. So uh, last year at this conference, you unveiled a really interesting report about venture capital trends. It was data rich. Uh, and I understand you've got a couple more reports in the works. Can you tell That's us right. uh, about those? Yes, we have two reports coming out ahead of the bio convention this year, which is in San Francisco in June. So hopefully these reports will be out in the, in the May timeframe. Uh, the, the first report is on clinical trial success rates. We work with a, a group called Biomed Tracker. They're a database provider of mainly clinical trial uh, data by company, by disease, etc. And we are going to be looking at ten, the most recent 10 years of clinical trials and look at how successful each therapeutic area has been along the program pathway. So what we have right now is 10,000 data points to examine over the 10-year time frame. And a, a data point, what we call a transition, is a move from a phase one to a phase two, or a phase one to suspended, or phase two to phase three, so on. And we're breaking that down in very unique ways this time. One of the unique ways to break this down is to look at trials that have been run with biomarkers. And we believe this is the first comprehensive analysis of clinical studies with biomarkers versus without. And what's enabled us to do this is another company that we're working with called Amplion out in Bend, Oregon, that focuses specifically on maintaining a database of biomarkers that are used in clinical trials. What we have so far, what we're seeing is that about 10% of the clinical programs actually utilize biomarkers. And within that data set, we're seeing a huge increase in success rates overall. When, you, when biomarkers are incorporated versus not. Really? That's actually quite interesting because people have speculated for many years that biomarkers might have that effect, but uh, there, it hasn't really proven out in, in quite a few cases, or at least yeah. that's the popular belief. So this is trying to put a quantitative number on just how beneficial it is. And we're going to break that down hopefully by um, disease areas as well. Interesting. Now there's a second report. What's that one about? So the second report is our emerging company report and that details what's been happening over the last 10 years for small companies. So a lot of database providers and other reports that are out there tend to focus on the large companies that kind of dwarf. Like if you look at acquisitions, you have a Pfizer Allergan acquisition, that type of money will dwarf all the numbers for the small companies. And so we wanted to tease out just the small company space, the emerging companies, and what's happening with respect to venture funding, public investment, licensing, acquisitions, and also their contribution to the clinical pipeline. And so that will be a 10-year a analysis that's coming out also in, in May. So if this comes out ahead of the bio convention, uh, how can people get a copy of the report? Sure, they can sign up at a URL that we have. It's bio.org forward slash IA reports. And signing up there will allow you to get the PDF either delivered by email or a link to a PDF for the reports. No fee. So you'll be all ready for the convention then? That's right. We're looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.